fascism has to be fought every day of the week, every week of the year, every month of the year. This is about a torch from history. Not just young at heart, but young. We have to carry the message forward. The torch has to go on. I am sure that you will join me in my praise and thanks for our outgoing General Secretary, Rodney Bickerstaff. Rodney, campaigner for the poor, internationalist fighting oppression and exploitation throughout the world, anti-apartheid frontline activist, and friend to those who were forced to flee from South Africa, we say thank you. Staff Unison, and can I say that after 30 years of working often in a very lonely way for the statutory national minimum wage, I don't need lectures from Johnny Come Lately to the concept. <laughs> Millions of our people over the years have been born, they've lived, they've worked, and they've died in absolute abject poverty, and it need not have been so. <laughs> what we're talking about is a decent minimum wage. It's our defining issue. It's the defining issue of trade unionism. It's the solid ground on which we can stand. The laborer is worthy of his or her hire, and if we lose that, if we don't believe that, we might as well pack up and go home. Does the panel tip? If so, whom and Rod how much? And how much? Rodney Bickerstaff. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like the concept, I'll be as quick as I can, I don't like the concept of tipping because I think that people ought to be paid a, a, a reasonable living wage. But yes, I do tip, I tip my barber and uh, that's the result. How much? <laughs> Rodney Bickerstaff was a heartwarming person to know and to work with uh, because his heart was obviously in the same place as mine was, with the pensioners, with the low paid. Well, he was, a, he was a great young man in terms of fighting for workers. He, he identified himself for me when uh, there was a big hospital worker strike on. He and I spoke at it, and there was a young man coming forward, and I thought he identified himself clearly with the workers, and that was on their side. That impressed me very much. Rodney, Kevin, Elvis, Buddy, Shaking Stevens, Bickerstaff. You're now famous. You're quoted in the media. You appear on TV and radio and have many contacts in government and with others in public life. Even when you're talking bollocks, you sound good. I want to say again, because she's in, if I don't say it now, she'll be worried for the next three days. But uh, for 30 years, um, I've been married to but I'm still with others. And uh, it's, it's difficult. It all goes so quickly, doesn't it? You know, it doesn't seem a few months ago that I was in a little Anglia car. It was January 1967. I had a little Perdio radio in the back of the seat. I was driving to Wakefield over the hills. It was plain penny lane is in my eyes. I thought the world was my oyster. What I wasn't going to do. The trade union movement, the labor movement, the world, the cosmos didn't know what I was going to do. And then suddenly you realize that they never found out because although you try, you only do a little. And that little you have to do collectively. The collective, our collective, is called a trade union. Our special, extra special collective is called Unison. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you.